I feel very fortunate to wake up every single morning knowing that I get to come to work with the greatest people. People care about what they're doing, they care about each other, and they just want to do the best they can each and every day. The big difference is the people uh, and the culture. I've never worked with individuals who embrace the mission and let it shine each and every day from how they interact with patients to visitors to each other not only do you see it but you feel it i kind of laugh at this one brian cook who's the president of the division said this is disneyland um <laughs> and everybody kind of laughs about it he said that many times during our interview he's like it's disneyland other hospitals look like hospitals you walk into this hospital and it looks like a hotel a really you know very nice hotel and um you know, from the moment you walk in, you get wheeled in, uh, to the moment you, you know, get discharged, it is, it is a, a different experience than just about any other place I've ever uh, been in. I think working here, uh, we really kind of live up to our values of care like family and raising the bar. So we say often at Southern Hills and, and HCA, care like family, and this really resonates here at Southern Hills because we do treat every person whether you're an employee, you're a visitor, you're a patient, you're a physician, like our family member. I just think that uh, this is a special place in you know over 20 years of, of practice. I have never seen a hospital like this. It's, uh, it is truly a jewel in the desert. Southern Hills is a truly special place. I remember everything about that day. I remember the page going off overhead, I remember grabbing the rapid response bag and not knowing what I was running up to, trying to figure out what was happening. And then I heard the story. I responded to it to find a older gentleman who um, was losing his oxygen saturations fairly quickly. He uh, kept removing the oxygen from his nose because he was trying to go and visit his wife uh, who was passing in the ICU. I knew no matter what, that we, we needed to make that meeting happen. I remember bringing them up to the room. I had to, I had to have the respiratory therapist with us. We had to have supplemental oxygen. I mean, he wasn't the healthiest either, so I had to make sure that he's taken care of at the same time medically as he, I needed to take care of him emotionally. This particular guest of ours also happened to be blind. Um, so he was unable to see his wife. I was able to take him in his bed up to the ICU um, and place him side by side with his wife. I remember them holding hands and him saying that uh, he loved her and <sighs> saying goodbye. She did not have to do that. She is a busy nurse. She's a, one of our rapid response nurses. She has a lot of responsibility throughout the hospital, and she did not have to take the time to do that. But she realized in that moment that that was her most important task. Her most important task for the evening was to make sure that this gentleman got to see his wife. In incidents like that, you don't say no to. You you move heaven and earth to make that happen. And I knew that that in my gut, it was something that I had to do. Here, obviously, we strive for the best patient outcomes um, by, by all means, but at some point, life takes hold. And uh, it took hold with this couple. And they subsequently both, um, they both passed together after their goodbye. It's definitely sad. Real live version of the notebook. <laughs> I do, I do stop and think um, about them sometimes and I, I just hope that they feel solace um, in the fact that they, they got that goodbye. They got to hold each other. You know, I, I got their hands together. He, he was able to hold her hand. I just think that the family may find some solace in that. It's definitely sad um, when something like that happens. It, it touches all of our hearts. It, it was heart-wrenching for me to be in that moment, but nursing is, is 360. We can be there for the happy. Um, we can be there for the sad, the scared, the, the angry, the joy. Um, it, it comes full circle, and especially here 
at Southern Hills, I've noticed that our culture of care is above and beyond um, anywhere else that I've worked in the past. Every day we're doing something, something to in, improve the time that we're living in. The, the patients here are not, they're not just patients, they're our guests. Um, and we treat our guests here with um, care and compassion. And I know that the actions that I took that day, um, anybody else, anybody else would have taken. And that, it's a really awesome feeling. Being a leader in critical care is very rewarding. Uh, you have nurses that are extremely dedicated to their patients, not just providing good medical care, but improving their experience here at the hospital. Culture here is really people going above and beyond. And I think one great example of that is we had a cancer patient here on, on our, our oncology floor and the physicians didn't think she was gonna make it through the night. I met Alicia when she was just diagnosed with cancer. I was the first person that gave her her chemo. Alicia had been here on our oncology unit. Uh, she'd had a long, tough battle with leukemia. She was starting to get very sick. We were trying to stabilize her so she could be transferred for a bone marrow transplant. Uh, her longtime partner uh, had been, we'd become very familiar with him. And before we were gonna transfer her, uh, they had expressed that they'd been trying to get married for a long time, but her sickness had prevented them from doing that. After they expressed that, the nurses kicked into gear. They didn't just arrange a priest to be here. Uh, that would have been very easy to do, just have the priest available for them to uh, officiate the ceremony. But they were talking to Alicia about the dress, uh, make sure there was a ring available, some flowers, um, also who was going to hold the phone so that they could FaceTime with their family so that they could be part of that experience. It wasn't even pre-planned, it's just like, let's get it done. Now to complete your vows, a kiss. They brought all of that together in a very short time. Above all else, we're committed to the care and improvement of human life, and the nurses really went above and beyond to make this happen for them. It's the teamwork. It's all the effort between the staff here, the management, the priests coming in, everybody trying to come in together to help her give that last wish that she wanted. Those little things that we do that makes them happy is worth all the effort. And once she was transferred, received her bone marrow transplant, uh, she came back to the hospital. I didn't know if she was sick, but she was waiting on the bench in the emergency room. I thought she needed time or help to go inside to get um, a room because she was sick, but I was wrong. She came back to the hospital to thank the nurses and to let them know that she is in remission. The thing with Alicia's story is that happens every day. Uh, it's not just the quick and efficient way that we can help our patients, it's what can we really do to help improve their lives. I, I think it's everybody from the dietitian to all the nurses to um, our charge nurses to our director for our management, all putting things together when we need something to make one person happy. And, and, and that makes a big difference. I think it's the dedication to patient care that makes Southern Hills Hospital special. It's not just the task nursing, uh, going about your day and clocking out. It's how can we impact the lives of our patients, not just their medical care, but their psychological care as well, their spiritual care. Alicia, I'm very happy for you. I am glad that I am part of your journey for your cancer treatment. I'll always be your friend. We're always here for you. The Southern Hills family will always be here for you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank all of you. I want you to know that we are so grateful to have you here at Southern Hills. I know that there are a lot of hospitals that you can work for and Southern Hills is a special place and it's because of all the people like you that have joined our team today. And I want you to feel committed, to feel part of our family and to continue to provide the best care possible that we can for all of our patients. It's a real special place. It's kind of hard to to explain. You know, it's just different, different from the other HCA facilities, different from just about any other hospital. It's ordinary people doing extraordinary things 
every day. And I just want to say welcome to the Southern Hills family. Welcome to Team Southern Hills.